Um, I got a question for you guys, though. Okay. I've, I've known you both a very long time. Have I known you? I think have I known years. you longer, Ming, or uh, Q? I think uh, it might be the same time. Yeah, I mean, it might be right around the same yeah. time. Yeah, it depends on what you count. I remember uh, the first time I ever talked to you on the phone. I guess if you want to mm-hmm. count that as meeting, um, you, you you had a short stint answering phones at the office. Mm-hmm. And I think 1995. It was yeah, right right after um, Mallrats. Yeah. And uh, I had called you. Uh, I needed a copy of the laser, the Marat's laser disc. And I think, uh, yeah, you, was I accommodating or was I like, oh, uh, no, you Christ. were, no, you were like fucking Jesus Christ. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know if you had sent it the first time. And then I called you like a, a week later, and uh, you were like, I just sent it. I oh, swear, yeah? I just sent it, and I got it the <laughs> next day. So. Um, so, so you've both known me for quite a while. Yeah. So you're a good judge of my character. I believe. Yeah. So I need to know if. If this is a, a case of A or a case of B. Okay. Case A is do I am I this much of a hair trigger psychopath that <laughs> that you would that you would think this is a reality? Or B are my sister and her family a bunch of fucking dummies. Okay. Well I already know it's B. <laughs> <laughs> um the other day uh my niece sends Suzanne like texts her pictures. Right. Now my niece is thirteen. Text uh, Suzanne pictures of um, of uh, sit down, Ming. God damn you. Um, of uh, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Ming's fucking distracting me. All right, I'll it's me ha- and you. I'll just have to be. Ming's I'll just gone. have to base it on your opinion. Right. Uh, my niece texts pictures of herself and her boyfriend. Your niece has a boyfriend now. She's a boyfriend. Right? Okay, I'm not happy about it. Wait, is he 30? She's 13. No, he's 16. Okay, all right. No, I'm not crazy about it, though. I don't all think right. girls should be dating when they're 13. Or boys. Girls are boys. Well, what do you, what do you count as dating? Uh, going to the boardwalk. Yeah, but well, that's what you're supposed to do when you're that age, huh? Are you? Yeah, Suzanne says no. No, they're seeing each other. What? Yeah, jump on Ming's mic. Fucking oh, fuck Ming. It runs off in the middle of a show. That's unprofessional. That right is someone. And leaves the door open, too. Mm-hmm. Motherfucking... They're so. seeing each other every weekend. They're she's leaving at eight in the morning because she's so concerned. Yeah, she'd be, she she she's it. like that typical like consumed with them sort of attitude. Yeah, but I mean, what else are you gonna do at that age anyway? I don't know. I think it's okay. Thirteen? What are they making out? I don't, I don't know, know what kids do today. Why not? When you're thirteen, what else are you gonna do? Am I wrong? Like in that? What? Let's go to fucking computer camp like me. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, come on, dude. Think about how much time. Like, really though. Like, if you could go back. Like the amount of time you spend trying to fucking score with girls when you're like in junior high and how much time you put in like and thought you put into a relationship that you're clearly not ready for, you know, right. like I know you need practice and shit, but I th- I don't think seventh, eighth grade is really is the time. Nah. Well, right, also, it's junior high. She just that whole thing with the, uh, <laughs> no. you know, this is live, right? <laughs> just go sit down. Go, get out of my chair. <laughs> You've been banished. <laughs> yeah. um, no, I remember when I was... give you a prepared script. <laughs> <laughs> when I was uh, um, junior high school, like, that was the main focus was, like, just... Not, not like, like, coming up fucking fuck this broad, but it was, like, you know, making out with girls and, like, trying to make out with girls mm-hmm. and, like, just trying to do that. And that was that age. That sounds about right to me. But if she's your daughter, there's, there's no way. You're, you're like, ah, oh, whatever. Because you know how scummy you were. You know how scummy you are. Yeah, no, but I, you know, I don't know. I got scummy as I got older. I think when I was a kid, like there was a real like innocence. That's about true. It. You were uh, you were a different guy when we when we first met, and he was dating his then yeah uh, his right. girlfriend, well, and then, then became fiance. his fiance. Fiance, my ex fiance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was yeah. after her. It was just like he a was f- all true blue and in love yeah. and fucking yeah. faithful and really like what would sober w- would wa- <laughs> <laughs> well oh, <that's> balanced <laughs> would really like wax romantic about her when she wasn't around. Yeah, like, all yeah. gay and shit. That was when I was like twenty. Mm-hmm. 21 because if you remember once i hit 22 there was no waxing romantic no then it went uh no the last two years anyway when, is that when you got you no i broke, broke up, up when i was like 24 mm-hmm. but the last two years you know weren't really uh right weren't really uh never cheated on or anything like that but but like i was it was like a different me it was an innocent me back then i didn't really i wasn't like i'm gonna fucking <laughs> i'm gonna try no. and bang three girls in one night and shit like that yeah <laughs> remember i did that and you were like i'm not talking to you you put what? me in the penalty box for like that one <laughs> night where, where, where no. those girls were like, I don't want to talk to you today. <laughs> go, go downstairs. There's, yeah, there's, there's just something. That's, uh, 
I gotta take a, a just take a get a buffer. <laughs> yeah, but to me that that's all right too because like everybody in their twenty are dickheads. So mm-hmm. to me, I was just right on point. Like right. I was all right. Like when I was thirteen to nineteen, it was like nice and sweet. And it was uh, you know if I was your niece's boyfriend as a thirteen year old, I I I don't think you would have to worry about me. I think everybody's a dickhead. If you're 13, one. though, but like when you're 13 and then you got a guy who's 16, I think a guy yeah, who's 16 has right. a different like mindset. Depends on the kid, man. Mm-hmm. If he's a nervous Nelly type kid and he's fucking. Well, my sister was, made it sound like it was okay because he's immature, and I'm like, all right, so you want her hanging out with a retarded yeah, 16 year old? Good reasoning right there. <laughs> but um, at any rate, so my uh, my niece sends Suzanne some pictures of them, like you know, just pictures of them like sitting in the school bus or something. And so Suzanne shows me and I said to her, I said, text back that, um, I just left the house with my shotgun. <laughs> now, <laughs> Jesus Christ it seems <laughs> clearly like, you, that's a joke, right? The pictures are innocent. You don't have a shotgun. Don't have a shotgun. Right. These are kids that I've been looking out for for years now right. since uh, their dad died right. and uh, have really been there no matter what they need. I'm there. Right. I always know that, you know, I see him every week. Can I paint out the rest of the story already? Uh, okay. Your sister and her family took it seriously, and were like, "What's he doing? What's this guy going to do?" If if it were that calm, maybe called your mother, <laughs> screamed Call at Pam, Pam yeah. screaming, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> What's going on? Why is why is he? Why does he have a gun? Why where is he going? Oh, like they go into lockdown <laughs> at the house, thinking that. I'm that fucking enraged that she oh says it's sent like it's not, <laughs> she's sitting next to the kid she's sitting next bus. to him in a school bus. It's yeah. not like they're in a fucking sixty nine <laughs> or like she's fucking waving on like a Oh, here's a picture. Oh, it's such a cute picture, man. It's like completely <laughs> sweet. Flip that over, flip that over. It's really nice. It's not that uh, yeah. at all. It's nice to see his his niece with someone like fucking kinda normal. <laughs> yeah, <there's, laughs> that's not shotgun worthy. No. No. Although you do have a gun, though. I don't know. I used to have it. I used to have it. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. It used to be a sex prop, but that's right. gone now. <laughs> <laughs> but so anyway, yeah. And I finally get on the phone with my sister. What the hell's going on? And I'm just like, why are you screaming? Because I, it, it didn't occur to me like that that was because something... no normal person would fucking assume that. Right. But then, like once I once I tell her, I was like, it was a joke. Uh-huh. Like I was that like like Are you serious? Uh-huh. Um, and she's like, all right, well, you know, I was in the bathroom and Autumn comes down screaming and, and, and banging on Your the, niece? banging on the door. She, yeah, she thinks that I'm like, does she think I'm going to shotgun her or her boyfriend or like, who am I shotgunning? You know, <laughs> can we um, interview her? Can and, we get her on there? Yeah, I know. And especially like, you know, cause my other niece, Sagey's down there. Like, do you fucking seriously think I'm going to like fucking <laughs> duck Sage? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to hit the ground, little bitch. <laughs> Dad is coming through. Um, so once I calm her down and everybody bought it, cause I can hear everybody on the other end of the phone, like all fucking all a buzz and, and all like, you know, they're like, hammering like shit over the windows and stuff. Oh my God. Yeah. And like her boyfriend is, is my sister's boyfriend. I got me a shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Like I'll, 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 I can equal his efforts. <laughs> That's a little inside joke. Nobody gets. But, uh, this was not the first time that this has happened, that they, that they're, they're afraid of me. There's no doubt in my mind they're afraid of me. And I don't know why, because I'm so nice to them. <laughs> That's what I don't get. You brought the kids to Disney. You laid all that shit out of your own pocket. Yeah. You watch the kid all the time. Yeah. Um, I think, I think Sage is the only one who's. And you don't have a here. history of violence. Not no, at all. No. I mean, I got into a fight, like a fist fight with her boy. Well, I mean, that wasn't really much of a fist fight. I'm not even a fucking. Big talker as far like I said, I don't really get into fights, but it it wasn't a fight. Two hits, Mm -hmm. (laughs) one hitting. Yeah, nobody brought, nobody bothered bringing him to the hospital. (laughs) 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 The ambulance didn't hit eighty on the way. (laughs) But at any rate, uh, I got into this is going back a year or so, maybe more. I got into a fight with my sister in regard to the kid, and it was one of those things where it's like you're not going to see her anymore. And at that point, I'm like, well, I've got nothing to lose. So then I do turn into like, well, now. You know, I'm, I'm, this is going to be troublesome right. for everybody. And uh, there was a situation where, like, we got into the, the argument. We were yelling at each other, and I and I must have made some sort of vague, like, uh, open ended statement, or it's like, well, you know, this isn't the last of it, or something like that. Mm. Again, lockdown. 
like me and Suzanne were up at the house. We we were like we were just upset about the whole situation. So we were like, we're just gonna like hang out and like I think we smoked a little weed and we were like we're gonna watch a movie and just spend the day up here. And I found out later on that they're down at the house. Nobody would leave the house. None of them. They lock the doors, lock the windows. They're they're on fucking <laughs> like fucking vampires at like night. Zombie, zombie <laughs> they're on control. high alert, like waiting for me. And this is the fucking best part. At one point, they can't find Sage. So you you kidnap Sage? Convinced. <laughs> You're the boogeyman. Convinced, bro. yes, that somehow I got in the house and took her, spirited her away. It sounds and, like a horror movie. <laughs> and yeah, and I mean, but from what you know, the description that I got was like my sister's bawling in tears and you know, they're He's trying to boiling figure out. Her like, bones. Yeah, yeah. He's like, eating her. Yeah. He's... I don't think it's that. I think it's like, that we're never going to see her again because you took her and he's gone. Um, but what had happened was she was, uh, because we always do this at the house, like she was hiding in the hamper. Right. Cause like I'll put her in the hamper and then put the lid on and pretend I can't find her and shit right. like that. So that's what she was doing. So as they're fucking like, cause they know nobody's left the house. Right. They know that the fucking windows are boarded up like it's night of the dead and shit. And, um, and but they can't find her. They don't. They can't find her anywhere. So they're like somehow he got in the house, took her, and fucking <laughs> left again. You're like Candyman, bro. It's, you appear in with. I know, man. They fucking shit. said fucking. They said data three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I appeared and fucking took her away into the mirror and shit. <laughs> it was, uh, but it, it, in a way, it's nice to be credited with such like uh, like fearsome might. And mm-hmm. It's almost supernatural powers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, but uh, you're right. It's like he's the boogeyman. Like. <laughs> but on the other hand, man, that you you don't want to be thought of like that either. No, no, no. No, I wish somebody thought of me like that. Wield a certain amount of power like that. Uh, 